Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, January the 7th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course first for Race 7, one of two stake races on the card today, 3.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Busanda Stakes, mile 70 yard test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, three-year-old fillies racing for $100,000. Contenders number one, Sweet 17, number three, Bourbon Street Girl, number five, Captivating Lass, and number four, Lady Clara. If you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts this afternoon, this race is named after the Philly Busanda, who is perhaps best remembered as the dam of the United States Hall, Racing Hall of Fame inductee Buck Passer. Regally bred, Busanda was sired by 1937 U.S. Triple Crown Champion War Admiral, a son of Man of War, who was ranked number one in Blood Horse Magazine's list of top 100 U.S. thoroughbred champions of the 20th century. This year's renewal of the stakes event, number one, Sweet 16, has hit the board in each of her three career starts to date, winning her first two adventures, comes off a power run place finish facing better company in her last start. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer Graham Motion sent her to the post. They fit the board with 55% of their entries settled as a team to date. Number three, Bourbon Street Girl is at the board in three of her last five, including a win in her fifth race back. Race seven summary, number one, Sweet 17 tops my contenders list, which also includes number three, Bourbon Street Girl, number four, Five captivating last and number four, Lady Clara 1354 in the seventh from Aqueduct, the hundred thousand dollar Busanda Stakes. Gulfstream Park, race 10, their feature on the card today, 4 45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Marshuas River Stakes, eight and a half furlong route test on the turf, grade three, Phillies and Mares, four years old enough, racing for a hundred thousand dollars. Contenders number three, Daveron. Number nine, Luca Vova. Number ten, Tappets Fly. And number five, Heavenly Landing. Number three, Daveron shares the speed honors in this graded stakes field with number nine, Luca Vova. It's won five of eight in her career to date, racing at today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the turf. Drops in class by five track master units. Has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight starts, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Lou Vakova, 4 to 1 shot, has also hit the board in 5 straight, including a power run win her last time out. Race 10 summary number 3, Daveron, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 9, Lou Vakova, number 10, Tappets Fly, and number 5, Heavenly Landing, 3, 9, 10, 5, and the 10th from Gulfstream Park, the $100,000 Grade 3, Marshua's River Stakes. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race three, number one, paid review, eight to one on the morning line. The overall speed leader in his claiming field, racing at or about tonight's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Penn National Race Course, race three, the ten to one bomb. Number two, Senator Bill qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Drops in class by nine Trackmaster units. Nice overall speed for this six furlong sprint. So handicapping from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.